Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. And yes, I'm doing a mukbang in here in my living room. My kitchen table is a disaster, so I had to uh, go ahead and get it done. I've cleaned up. It's Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, and Mr. Silver Fox brought me some lunch. Um. Anyway, I had a taste for some Arby's. I am starving. I worked out this morning, and uh, yeah, what I worked off, I'm putting it back in me. Uh, this is what I'm going to call my cheat day. Um. I'm starving, y'all, so I may not be talking about a whole lot. So, anyway, I got one of those roast beef and cheddar with the Arby sauce. I just put that on there. I got the curly fries and onion rings. Y'all, don't sleep on Arby's onion rings. They are the jam zone. And then they've got those new, is it gyro or gyro sandwiches? I got the, um, the turkey one. And uh, so we're going to give that a try. And uh, we're about to do it. And like I said, y'all, I am starving like Marvin. And I just got a sweet tea. Harvey sweet tea. So let's get into it. Mm. It's got the onion bum. Mmm. So good. So hungry, so hungry. Oh my, the tea is good. I got my hair up in a little ball. I deep conditioned it. Mm. Oh, you ring. Flavor. Mmm, that's tasty. That's pretty good, y'all. Mmm. I ordered this little tray off of eBay. It's a fast food tray. I've been looking for one of these. 
I forget, you can get a whole lot of stuff on eBay. Tastes like it's got a ranch dressing, lettuce, tomatoes, roasted turkey. That roasted flavor. Fabulous. Fabulous. I hate to be this hungry because I feel like I'm a pig. But sometimes I just want the different flavors in my mouth. That roast beef. This is the Arby's classic. Just classic roast beef. Cheddar. Yes, I'm living for the crunchy, so crunchy, so crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Had to do that double head shake. It's so good. Mmm. Yesterday, me and Mr. Silver Fox, we went out of town because I was off yesterday for Good Friday. I'm also off Monday. <laughs> but anyway. We went down to this men's dress shop. And I learned some stuff. But anyway. Before we went down there, because it was out of town, it's not in our city, so we didn't want to drive to a whole nother city, and we get up there and it'd be closed. So I called ahead of time to make sure that they were going to be open, because, you know, some businesses closed for Good Friday. I know I look rough off, no makeup. I'm not around today. Mmm. French fries. I mean, I ain't running. So anyway, we get, uh, I call the place. And, uh, you know, I said, hey, y'all gonna be open tomorrow. We're gonna be coming from out of town. We just want to make sure that you're open on Good Friday. He said, yeah. Well, Mr. Silver Fox had heard an advertisement on the radio station that he listened to that they had a special on suits. So I let the man know. I said, well, me and my friend, we're going to ride up there to your store because 
who wanted to check out, you know, the suits that you had on advertisement on the radio spot. So the man and me said, oh, well, the Easter suits that I ordered didn't come in. Well, my friend, he ain't particularly looking for an Easter suit. He wanted to get a new suit. He's got two. They're two twins. Two and boys. And both of them are graduating from college in May. So he wanted to, you know, get them something nice to wear to their graduation. Because they're graduating with top honors and, you know, they're twins, you know. They did it together, and went to school. of course, grew up their whole life together, and went to school. So, you know, the, his family, you know, is getting together and, you know, want to do something nice for him. So everybody wants to wear something nice, you know. So I was just telling him, man, I said, okay, but just, you know, what are your hours? So he said from 10 to 6. So I said, okay, that's good. He said, but since it's Fridays, Fridays I like to eat fish, so I go get me a fish plate for lunch. I said, oh, okay, that's fine. I said, so well, what are your lunch hours normally, 12 to 1? Oh, no, no. I go to lunch between 2 and and three. So it's best for you to come at three thirty. I said, "Well, oh, I said, well, if you open up at ten, we'll come. We'll be, we'll come before your lunch break. You know." He said, "Oh yeah, that's fine." So he went all about uh, how he didn't have this and how he had that, and that he was just a small business and he didn't have this big conglomerate. I said, "Sir, I like to support small businesses. That's why we're coming." I said, if we wanted to go to a, you know, I would go to the malls or some of them Joseph A. Banks and all them, you know, I can go to all them. But I said, but that's why I would call them. We like to s support small business. And I'm thinking, dog joker, don't talk yourself up out of a sale. I mean, before I even get up there, uh, you trying to discourage me from coming before I get up there. So... Anyway, it just had me thinking, I wonder how many people do that. Here it is, you you know how it is with small businesses. Of course, you're going to pay a little bit more than what you pay for if you go to the mall sometimes. Because, you know, it's a specialty shop and they do alterations and stuff. But on. Don't cut off your sale before you even get the person in the store. So anyway, we went up there. All was well. They got a suit. Nice suit. So all is well. But anyway. For those of y'all who have your own businesses... Don't downplay your business. The person that go to your store, they might have exactly what, what they need. That shirt over there that you ain't been able to sell in six months, that, that one person that you trying to deter from coming to your store, that, that might be that one shirt that that person buys. So... He was an older gentleman. I was very shocked that he was that he was carrying on the way he was. Talking. Speak life into yourself. Speak life. Speak prosperity. You know what? He could have said, you know what, man? Well, the Easter suits that I ordered didn't come in, but you know what? Come on up here. We'll see if we can find you something. 
If that's your business, it's just like you're on this platform. What do I ask y'all to do? Share my channel. Tell people about my channel. We laugh, we eat, we chuckle. We have food for thought. That's what we do over here on the flavor train. Man, I dropped that chill quick. Best advertisement is word of mouth. Some of y'all know this, some of you don't, but that's your best advertisement. Tell people. And so now, since we went up there, we had a wonderful experience. They tacked his pants so they can alter his pants because the pants, of course, were too long. So they do specialty alterations and stuff. And I learned how some men like their pants to be a little bit longer in the back and cut at a slant. So in the front, you get that little pucker that they like to get. See, I didn't know none of that. I was all in a whole nother world. But I like to learn stuff like that. Because growing up, raising my son, I just went to uh, the local mall and bought him a shirt tie, you know, that type of stuff. And when he went to the prom, he just went there to the tuxedo place. They measured him. But... It's a whole nother ball game when you go to a men's shop and they do not necessarily well they do tailor made. I mean they tailor make a suit for your body and they take all the measurements and they make a suit based on your body. And let me tell y'all something, ladies and gentlemen, and for some of you men who have tailor made suit, let me tell you, it's a difference between night and day. Yeah, you can find a good suit hanging on Perhaps the rack, but the nothing looks more polished. Nothing must looks more good. Nothing looks more good to make me as a woman say, "Oh yeah, who is that?" When a man has on a good tailor made suit, what? Wait, yes. Sorry about that, y'all. Had to have a little sidebar. But anyway. We had a good little island. I gotta go get me some more drink. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Hold up. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had to go pour me some of my uh, gold peat tea up in here. But yeah, y'all. I always remember. Speak positivity over your life. I don't know what people say, think, or do. If don't nobody else feel good about you, you, feel, you make sure you feel good about yourself. And I understand, even on this platform here. Just like people, all they want to do is key negativity. You need a trumpet with something positive. 
Because that's what they're going to do. So, as much as people are negative, you have to, you have to be even the more positive. Don't let what they say or think about you be the last thought or word. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. This is a lot of food. And I appreciate y'all. Y'all got Lady T all the way together on my last moot bomb, honey. I was so tired and sleepy because, like I said, I had worked all day and then I went to the nail salon and got my nails and feet done. So, it was kind of late when I got home. But y'all got me all the way together, honey. Y'all let it be known. Uh, Tanya, you didn't do the Feed in America chain, save our chain, so we're going to do that. So, I appreciate y'all for reminding me. <laughs> but you know what? That does my heart good to know that y'all... Are truly paying attention and again this is something we all can do I don't care if we don't send off but two dollars and seventy five cent in a money order to feed them feeding America at least we're all contributing for those of you who are doing the saving the change with me and it also is a life life lesson for children I mean granted I went to school I went to college and all that and my parents were awesome people but you know what nobody really taught me about money you know what I mean I mean you know you learn how to write a check make sure that you have money to cover that check I mean we know the basis we know I know the credit and how credit works and stuff but nobody really sat down and really said, showed me the, the benefits of saving your money and not spending all your whole paycheck. And I understand some of us do from paycheck to paycheck. And people ask me all the time, you know, I really want to start a channel on YouTube, but I'm scared. You know what? Go for it. There are certain criteria that you have to meet to become a YouTube partner, to start getting your videos monetized. But... This is a good little side gig. It really is. And, and because I'm a foodie, I love it. So why not cut the camera on? And share my life. That of what I want to share. One thing about technology. It has almost le it leveled the playing field. Where we all can get in what we can fit in. Oh, that's good. But like I said, you know, speak positive. You want a business idea? You want to start your own business? A YouTube channel? Be authentic? When I come on this platform on both my channels, this is who I am. I can't fake this, this, you know, this is who I am. Man, I was thirsty. Shut it down after this last onion because I'm about to be uncomfortably full. Oh, by the way, last night, once we got back in and everything, and my Mr. Silver Fox were home. 
I was in the mood to watch a movie. So I watched um a movie called Assassin's Creed. And it was pretty good. So I ain't gonna do no spoiler alert for anybody who who hasn't seen it and want to see it. Um it was pretty good. But I was over here in this recliner. I was getting it in, y'all. I was calling the pigs, the donkeys, the cows, the sheep. What's some other thing? The monkeys. Man, I was calling all the farm animals over here. Man, y'all. I dozed off in this recliner. I was like Curly, Mo, and what's the other one on the three studios? I was. I mean, y'all, I was. Woo, I was let me tell y'all something. Ain't no, when I tell y'all, ain't nothing like some good old down home sleep. Stop it. Stop it, y'all. Just stop cutting up on here. You cannot beat some good sleep. You cannot beat uh, some good old sleep. Uh, you cannot beat some good old sleep. Whew. Y'all can't, y'all can't be a good, some good sleep. Who I was sleeping so good, but anyway, based on what I saw and where my eyes closed, it seemed like it's a good movie. I'm gonna finish watching it, watching it today. I got a couple loads of clothes to wash, so I'm doing laundry today. So I'm gonna catch me a couple of movies. Excuse me, because me and Honey Bun, we was out in the streets yesterday. I can't do it. I can't eat another thing, y'all. Mm. I am full. Can't do it. But what we are about to do let's do it, y'all. Kids, go get your change. And we're about to save our change for Feeding America. That's probably how I got so full so quick. I drank two big old cups of that tea. Alright, y'all. We got our change. Got our wallets. But yes, honey. Y'all, 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 y'all hold me accountable. When I flim flam and forget to do the change. We can't, we can't, can't do that. We can't be skipping out on folks that need help. I see that. I can't wait to see how much we saved. Come July 1st when I take it to the post office. And I'm going to carry y'all with me. Alright. That's all my change. And that's how we do it, y'all. We are going to feed, help to feed America. So anyway, thank y'all for stopping by your girl Lady T on what? The flavor train because what? Wait! Flavor is where it's at. I'm loving these green nails. Anyway, ta-ta.